Okay, so today we're going to be doing a disassembly. Uh, this is an HP Pavilion 15 hyphen CS. I guess you can see it, hopefully. Uh, let's see, hopefully you'll be able to see that. It is a 15 hyphen CS 3065 CL. We're just going to be doing a disassembly on this laptop. Um, not a huge pain to do it. Um, there are some things that you're going to want to look out for. Uh, all you'll really need is a Phillips head screwdriver for this. No special Torx or uh, pentalobe or anything like that on this laptop. So to take it apart, obviously make sure that the computer's off. Um, flip it upside down. And uh, there are two hidden screws under each one of these uh, rubber pieces. And so just, you know, use a, we use a um, guitar pick pry that up so you can get access to that screw down in there. Um, they're labeled to tell you what size they are. Those off to the side. There's one on this side as well. You should be able to just move that screw. And then there are three additional screws on the bottom, right here on this bottom edge. Here here and here. Uh, these are different color and different size, so make sure you keep track of where the screws are going. It should be easy when you realize that there's three of the same on the bottom and these two are different. Um, these two rubber pieces down here actually don't have screws underneath of them, so you don't really need to do anything about that. You don't need to lift those up um, the same way you did these. Now to take off the bottom, it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, again, we use our guitar pick. And we just put it in between the housing on uh, the bottom cover and the top assembly. The uh, best way to do that is to just kind of stick the guitar pick into the edge there. It might take a little bit, but you should be able to wedge it in between. And then you just work your way down. You should hear some of the clips as you go down. Do that around the whole entire laptop. And then, like I said, you should hear some of the clips start to detach from each other. Good, just like that. Take a little bit, lift it up, but it should eventually just pop right off. Right. That side done. This side over here, which seems to be a bit more of a pain. Great. Check. Off now. Just making sure. Okay, so let's finish the. There's actually another one underneath here. This should pop right off just like that. Okay, so now we have a full look at the board. We have the battery, the RAM, the hard drive. Um, this actually has an NVMe slot right here. So if you're going to do a drive replacement or drive upgrade, your best option would be to replace it with a M.2 drive right here, and um, that's that. You can replace the RAM, of course, you can do that here. This model looks like it came with two sticks, different brands, which is a little weird. Uh, two four gig sticks. No, an eight gig stick and a four gig stick, so, but they both have HP numbers, so it must have came that way. Um, screen assembly, if you're going to do that, um, you can do that as well. 
So from here, the first thing you want to do when you work on pretty much any laptop, best idea would be to unplug the battery. So this is one where it's not on a cable, it's just pressed in. So you're going to need to take out what appears to be four screws. These silver screws here, 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 and here. So we'll just do that to lift the battery out. And that's always a good idea to do just to make sure that the power is disconnected from the motherboard that way if you're messing around you don't accidentally short anything out we can put that up and of course if you're replacing the battery you could at least just you know throw in a new battery at this point and screw it back in so that's the battery now that the battery's out pretty much anything else you wanted to do you can do while you're in here um the hard drive we can take out by Lift up this uh, ribbon cable connector, lift that up the little black tab, we should be able to pull this cable out now. And it appears that the hard drive is being held in by two screws. We have one here. Well, and with those out, we can now lift up the hard drive. And this is a thin, thin drive. Um, I want to say this is... I don't know if it's four millimeters. I could be wrong about that, but this is the thinner style of drive. Let's put that off to the side. Okay, so now at this point, we will start taking out the motherboard. So if you had to do a motherboard replacement, um, at this point, this is pretty much where you would be. Um, so first we'll take out the fan and really most of this doesn't have to be done in a particular order. If you've watched any of the other videos we have, you'll kind of know that. But, um, <clears throat> Like with any laptop, no particular order. So take out the family of two screws here. And or actually take the third screw. Three screws there, 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 and there. And now we can lift out the fan. And it's on this uh, connector here, which pulls straight back. So these fan connectors are always a bit of a pain in the butt, but if you use uh, your nail, you should be able to just pull it straight out. Now we're gonna want to disconnect the actual ribbon cables for the board, which include the keyboard, the touchpad, uh, the backlight for the keyboard, um, this little, these I.O. boards on the side for USB and power button and all that. So we'll do that now. Um, all of these, you just lift up the black or the white tab and you should be able to pull out the ribbon cable. Same with this one here, pull them out, close them and latch them back down when you're done. This one for the keyboard, pull that out. This one for the touchpad, lift that up, pull that out, close that down. Um, now we can take out the wireless card. If you're, again, if you're doing a wireless card replacement, you could pretty much just do that on its own since it sits right on top of the motherboard. Pretty easy to get to. Um, that is just one screw, and the whole card will just lift out just like that. These antenna wires are often pretty fragile. So if you're replacing the motherboard, sometimes it makes more sense to just leave these connected to the wireless card. And then that way, uh, when you're done, you can just plug this back in without having to worry about disconnecting them. But if you're doing a wireless card replacement, then of course you'll have to connect, disconnect these, which can just be done by lifting them straight up. And they pop right off just like that. Put that off to the side. Um, we'll start taking out the motherboard screws. Luckily, all of these are labeled with little tiny arrows, which might be a little bit difficult to see, but I'll try to zoom in. Maybe you'll be able to see them. There are little tiny white triangles that appear next to the label on the screw, which tells you that the screw belongs there. So if you're putting it back together and you see that with no screw in it, then you need to put the screw there. So we'll take those out. So one, two, three. We have another one actually down here as well. This one's different from the rest. It's a silver screw, so I we'll have to remember that. Another silver screw up here on the edge, and another one up here actually. Another one up here. This is again a silver screw. And I believe that is it for the motherboard screws. We'll check underneath the memory, but I doubt it. Under there. And there should be nothing under there. Nope. Okay, so that is good, and we have a black screw here. So at this point, we want to make sure everything's disconnected. So we have this additional connector for the USB ports on the side. So we'll lift that up, pull this out, and 
we also have the connector for the power jack. I want to just take that out. Now at this point we should be able to disconnect the screen and the speakers up here. So once again, this is just a tab that you lift. And you should be able to pull out the ribbon cable just like that. And then the speakers are just like the fan connector, which just pulls out straight, which you should be able to do with just your nail. And that's out like that. So at this point, the motherboard should be able to be removed. We can lift up just like that, and we should be able to pull, pull the board right out. So if you were doing a motherboard replacement, at this point you'd get your new board, you'd slide it in, uh, swap the memory, of course, if you had to do that. Um, so, yeah, do everything in reverse, and then you'd, you'd basically be done. The screws off to the side of the board. And so now, um, if you were doing a screen assembly replacement, all you would have to do is remove the screws to the hinges, and you should be able to take out the screen. So we'll do that next. Um, the hinges on these, it has two on this side and two screws on this side. These are pretty fragile, um, so definitely be careful. Um, the easiest way to do this is to leave the laptop closed like as it is right now. Take out all of the hinge screws and use a plastic spudger or a similar uh, object to wedge underneath the hinges themselves and lift them up. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because you don't want to put unnecessary stress on the plastics. Um, these are known to have very bad um, design in the hinges, and unfortunately they break very common, uh, very very commonly. So again, we'll just kind of use something to pry this up and put the hinges up like that. And we'll do the same on this side. Just use something to pry the hinges up. It should pull up just like that. Now to remove the screen, now we can lift up the top chassis, and we should, in theory, be able to fall out. Um, one other thing that I've just realized now is that actually in order to do that, we have to unroute the cables, which include the antenna and the screen cable, so which is taped on, unfortunately. So uh, we will remove the tape from that, just like that, and now we should be able to unroute that cable. Um, on this side, again, we just have the Wi-Fi wires, which are routed along this little grommet here. So we'll pull those out. And now, at this point, now we can lift this up and separate the screen from the rest of the laptop. So that was how to disassemble the majority of the laptop. The only thing left would really be the I.O. board here and the power jack. The edge of the power jack, that's pretty straightforward. Unroute the cable, and this will just lift straight, straight up. This board, same thing. You just take these three screws out, and this will just come right up as well. So pretty, pretty simple. Uh, not a whole lot to uh, potentially go wrong. The other thing I would watch out for is, like I said, the uh, hinges. They can be very fragile, and you don't want to break any of these plastic posts. So when the bottom is not on the laptop, try not to open the laptop because those uh, screw posts will will just break right out. And the you know have to you know glue it or buy a new top, and that will be extra work that you know is unnecessary so that's pretty much it uh for this of course if you put everything back together you just do everything in reverse so there's really no point in showing it but that was how to disassemble the hp pavilion 15 cs 3065 you know i'll try to make it so you can see that there and that's pretty much it so if this video helped you out, um, please uh, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions or you need any help uh, with this repair or a similar one, uh, feel free to leave a comment and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, so with that being said, thanks for watching.